What's going on everybody? This is your boy Chef Fellow back with another banging video today, you guys. How are everybody doing today, you guys? I'm hanging out with my big bro today, man. We're gonna take a trip down here to visit my uncle. Happy Easter to everybody out there, man. And uh I'm at his location. I'm at his shop, his work shop. Whatever he does, whatever he's involved in. A man best friend. Number toys out here, man. For a man to get off in. But this is where he do his, a lot of his mechanic work on his old cars. You know, he comes here and store a lot of his stuff that he needs to store. So I'm in here looking at a nice size trailer. I think he said he needed some tires on it, some work. But I wanna take this trailer because I'm gonna make this trailer into a smoker trailer. I'm gonna buy a couple of smokers to go with the crawfish that I'm doing to put on there. I got two electric smokers, but I want charcoal or wood smokers. You know what I mean? So look, take a look at it, man. We got an old Chevy sitting here, 77 Chevy. I don't know if it's an Impala or a Caprice. I used to have one like this. Anybody looking at this box Chevy, if you guys want it, you guys hit me up in the comment box and let me know. I'll let my big brother know that you guys want this trailer, man. I mean, you guys want this Caprice. Check it out. You know, need some body work done to it. But it's just sit here. He got like a couple Le Mans. This is a 72 Le Mans. And I think he got a 69 Le Mans. And also, he's got a 70, 71 Cutlass 442. He's into cars like I am. You know, daddy raised us up in cars. My dad got all kind of cars in their old cars. But look at look back here, man. He's got all kind of stuff that he just stores here. This is property that he bought to do some work and store a lot of his stuff. You know what I mean? Instead of taking it to the crib, he bought this land. I ain't mad at him, man. Thanks for tuning in with your boy Chef Fellow today. We got a quick short video, but I want to get to this trailer that I'm looking at. And I might take this grill from him right here. This grill right here. Look at that, you guys. I might take that. He's not for sure yet. He was using it one, one upon the time, but he stopped using it because he don't use it anymore. So I can put some good use to it. So thanks for tuning in today with your boy Chef Fellow. Anybody new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel because every other day I'm banging, all right? Let's take a look at it. He's got so much, so much stuff to play with out here. And he's still got more and more room back here to play with. He started cutting out trees, trying to make more room, you know, to bring other stuff back here. But, you know, he owns his own business, so he used this for store. He does a lot of hauling, all type of hauling. I'm not for sure what type of hauling does. He got dump trucks too. I think he's hauling gravel, asphalt, something like that. Friend of his gave him this old forklift. Look at that. That's the miniature loader, man. Look at that loader, man. Check that out, man. Man, it's a beautiful day today, guys. Look at the sun. It's shining on me! I need a haircut. My wife said, man, you looking like James Brown. I know. I need a haircut. I, I just let it grow out. I don't care. Nor am I keep a nice fade, clean up. But I've just been like, wolf man don't care. I'm walking like that guy right there on that hat. <sighs> so, let's take a look at, man, some things he got. Generators. Boats. Trailers. I'm gonna watch out for snakes, you guys. These old bikes. Look at that, man. Look at that. Whatever you need, he got it. Right over here. So you got all kind of stuff. I know raccoons area. I, I know when when he leaves here for the night, they be having a party. Swirl, they be turning up in here. Coons and swear like, look at this, look at this. I can ride this lawnmower. You know? So, let's take a walk through. I'm gonna steal these. Batteries for days. This boat. 
I'm not sure. I wouldn't trust this boat. I don't know. I don't know, man. There's some water out of this boat. Wow. I don't like boats, personally. Because I don't, I don't trust them. I mean, I was on them a couple times. I went canoeing when I was younger at this uh, boys club. And I had a guy in the boat with me. He wants to start horse playing and flapping the water and turn the boat over. I'm drinking salt water. Then I went sea fishing with Dad. Got out there in San Diego, California, in the middle of nowhere, and got seasick. But from the bank, I'm good. I'm good. I don't trust boats, though. I don't. They're trying to get them where I think they're going to sink. Then we was all on a boat party one day. I like them front pontoon boats, whatever, pontoon boats, whatever they call them, and it's only a limit, 10 people, a limit, I think, I think more people got on there, then they started dancing because the music was playing, and they was shifting to the front of the boat, and I'm like, you got to balance this boat out, and my wife looking at me, I'm looking at her like, man, come on, man, they about to kill us. So she was like, you want to drive this boat? You know, I started driving it just to make sure me and my wife were safe. So I took over because y'all need to have a seat. You know, sometimes you have to be cool when you're around other things because you want to make sure you and your wife is cool. So I'm like, man, it's crazy, man. Sit down somewhere, people. How old are you? So look, look at all this good stuff we got, man. Dumb trailer, grills, trailer. Man, man, he's got so much stuff to work with. He on his way, too. So we're going to take a trip down here in Richmond, Indiana, see my Uncle Pete. Girl, I told you guys about Uncle Pete. I know he's going to say, boy, where them fishing poles at? Hey, uh, bro said we just come down here to chill, check on you. He'd be ready to go fishing. I want to try to get back home later on and uh, might get started on the chicken coop today. I just got the cement in yesterday, so I want to get out there, start getting that up because I have a lot of things in my book to do. I have a kennel I have to do. Also, I have to do, uh, I have to do the trailer. The trailer will be finished by June. I got a little bit of time to go. Uh, two or three people working on it at a time. We should knock it out, you know. But I just want to show you guys my brother, Goldmine. Look at these old beer cans, you guys. Look at this. Look at this, man. He loves antiques, too. He's one of my older brothers. He's not that older than me. He's only 47. Look at that. These old heaters he got right here. I see that. Look at that old heater. Look like the heater grandma used to have down south. That thing get hot, too, man. What else? Tiger Wood. These are all Tiger Wood balls and all that. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. So. Old Chevy right there, you guys. So, let someone know. You guys want it. What we got here. All right, this is like what? I don't know. Steady looking, you guys. Showing you guys. I'm trying to show you guys everything, man. This is a video of the junk yard to me. Carburetors. Is that a full barrel? Is that Edelbrock? Man, look at this bottle, man. What's that? What is this, cologne? Ugh. Parking for Kroger's customers only. Oh, man. He got everything. This, man, this thing is like some Ghostbusters wear on their back. Man. Oh, man. So, check this out. 
He got everything. Everything out here. Everything. There you go. Oh, man. All right, you guys. I'm showing him. He might get mad at me for showing him his gold, his gold, his gold. What are you doing back there? What are you doing? So, he know I'm videotaping. <laughs> and it's banging! So, you guys tune in, watch this show. If you guys like this, this, this gold mine, give me a thumbs up in the comment box, man. Make sure you hit the bell. Thanks for tuning in with your boy, Chef Fellow. Hope you guys have a blessed and safe holiday. All right? I'm out.